has one interconnected ocean, a vast new expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Welcome to SeaWorld's Orca Encounter. I'm Amber, and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. We hope this orca encounter will help you better understand these magnificent creatures and all that they represent. While they are found in every ocean, orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Thank you. 
The flippers on either side of her body are her pectoral flippers. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them, just like the human hand. And they are used primarily for steering and stopping. The tail flukes are the kill whales and propelling them to speeds of up to 28 miles per hour. But they swim the fastest and use the most power, propelling their almost 10,000 pound bodies completely up and out of the water. are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pond. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. A pectoral slap is used to show dominance and to get noticed. For example, a mother may use a peck slap to get her fast <laughs> attention. But when they really want to be heard, they breathe. Spy hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings while they hunt.
pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle home and run together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stumble with their powerful tail flips, making for an easy meal. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. Play is an important part of everyday life for killer whales in the wild. It's how they teach their young to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. Oops. You'll see killer whales interacting and showing their playful side, both in the wild and here at SeaWorld. Of course it takes when the whales swim fast at the surface, breaking out of the water just briefly. Okay. 
loose, like you guys are seeing right now with Makani. Never 